Guys, I hate waiting for car parts. I wish there would be a freaking fat wing outside this door. I can't take it. Oh my god, I hate waiting. I hate waiting. It's been a month today since we went to Georgia, okay? And we all know that was a lot of fun, all right? I had a great time driving up there, going to Bucky's, the mountains. It was, it was amazing. But having to wait for this is, oh, it's killing me, guys. It's, it's killing me. But great things take time. Now, they said they're at a four to six week, uh, four to six week wait time. So, I sh at the most should be about two weeks left. I'm really hoping maybe tomorrow, because I'm, you know, I'll be here tomorrow. Maybe there will be a fat package at my door, and maybe it'll be a wing. And that way, I could have access to the downforce world. Because let's be honest, guys. All right, let's let's, let's just be honest here. The trunk would look a lot better with a fat freaking wing on it. I mean, come on, like. Fat wing on the Civic, absolutely freaking lootly. It's hot as crap in here, yeah, no way. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the vlog. I literally think that's how Stradman does his intros. Sorry, Stradman, I just stole your intro. I won't steal it again, don't copyright me. Guys, it's a big day. Actually, no, it's not. I don't know why I'm saying that. There's nothing to do. I don't know what to do with my time. <laughs> Flirted with the idea of doing the tubing on the car to route air. I really can't right now. There's not really a way to do anything. Um, so that's kind of out of the question. All right, guys, I have an idea and it's going to be pretty freaking solid. First off, let's just appreciate how shiny Luna is. The freaking detail came out pretty amazing. So what I'm going to do, I think, as long as I have enough room, this fog light is going to be removed. Okay. This is where this piping is going to go. I'm going to have the air go through under the crash bar and I'm going to cut a hole in this intake box, okay, and try and route that pipe under the car and into the bottom of this box where the hole is cut. That way I can have air go right into the intake. Now, this, sh this is not really going to be easy, I don't think. <laughs> guys so we got one of the pipes done now I'm not sure if you can see through it you can a little bit uh, you can see over in here the air will be going in here and hopefully some of it will be going out that vent on that side uh, that's at least a plan now where I have it is where the fog light should be perfectly aligned with BM spec did the same thing they had theirs kind of zip tied and a strap right here I also have it zip tied back here so I should have enough support with this it should, like I said, the air will come through here and will go back there and hopefully cool off some things and get some better airflow. Uh, at least that's the plan. Like I said, I want to be able to cool the brakes down if, if I'm able to. Uh, so that's, that's the plan for now. All right, guys, we got both sides done. Now it's showtime. That side's on. This side I couldn't really do as far because of the fact there's a washer tank literally right in the way, as you can see, but I did the best I could. Uh, don't mind the zip tie. <laughs> but yeah, so that's done. I actually removed the fog lights from the bumper, so now the air should be able to pass directly through those fog light holes and hopefully into this area and hopefully some air will come out this way. Um, again, this is what some high-end time attack cars use. Actually, some of the world championship time attack cars, most of them use a design like that. Obviously, they have a better design, but for a Civic, for an occasional track car, I feel like this is going to be a pretty cool kind of modification that'll help keep temps down, better aero, and hopefully my brake, the brakes are what I'm trying to help here, because uh, yeah. brake, braking is a lot of heat, especially when you go up fast. So what I'm hoping is that's gonna help relieve some of that heat, and I don't boil my brakes, but we're gonna see. Perfect. They line up perfectly. That is freaking awesome. I am so happy with that. So now we officially have some kind of brake cooling if it's going to work properly. And uh, hopefully this makes a difference with the temps. 
I am very happy. I think the car looks better without the fog lights, too. It actually looks better like that because it's more dark. But yes, okay, so I'm going to say one thing real quick. While that is done and there is air that is going into the bumper, not all of it is going to the brakes. Reason being is because the wheel wells got kind of cut and stuff because they got messed up. Long story, the wheel wells aren't sealed. So a lot of that air is going to get trapped into the engine bay, which is hmm, uh, good and bad. Good because it's going to push some air through the engine bay, hopefully out the hood vent, maybe cooling it, but also bad because it's mostly going to create drag. I understand that. I know that I have to seal the wheel wells completely again, um, do some custom work. That way the air, first of all, so there's no air getting into the engine bay ca causing drag and lift, but also that way those, uh, um, the tubing from the bumper can be actually fully functional. Right now, like I said, the air is going to go kind of in a multitude of directions. Some of it's probably gonna go out the fender, which will work. A lot of it's gonna go into the engine bay. It is what it is. I understand that, I know that. Until I seal those wheel wells completely, it's gonna kind of be a hit or miss. Like I said, fully understand that. A lot of people, I guess, don't think I understand how aero works. It's kind of funny. They think I don't know what I'm talking about or anything. I know, okay, I understand. I've done a lot of research into aero, okay? <laughs> done a lot, of, a lot of time looking into aero. I know that, you know, that's gonna get into the engine bay and cause some drag and lift. I know that um, I'm working on that. The car is still a work in progress, but that's a huge step because now I got some, some brake cooling. And then once I seal off those wheel wells, I'll have quite a bit. So, you know, it, it's just one step at a time. You know, this car is slowly but surely getting somewhere. Um, I mean, hey, what can I say? I, I Honestly, I think it looks so much better like that. Absolutely, I love that because there's not as much light colors because those fog lights are like kind of white and it's not there anymore. That looks a lot better to me. I'm actually a lot happier with that than what it was before yeah so again step by step guys that's just it you know this car is a slowly but surely taking forever but hey there's no package at my doorstep either oh i need my wing guys I, I need my wing guys i kind of full sent it <laughs> i made a little too much ravioli but i was hungry so i said you know what i'm gonna i'm just gonna send it and i and i did it is Wednesday morning, 7.10. Time to go to the DMV because we need to pick up my permit. Uh, let me get my gauges set up here. Uh, yeah, come on. And wait for it to connect. Bingo. Okay. Yeah, so we're on the way to the DMV right now. It's They open at 8. It's only 7.10, but I don't want to wait in line forever. Uh, I got all my papers. Uh, should have everything. Just got to go there and be like, hey, I need my permit. Mother, it's gonna be great. Um, I have to hit something as I back up. Watch this. Look at this clearance. Check this out. Woo! Yeah, it is an absolutely gorgeous morning, guys. The last time that I went to the DMV, I didn't wake up early like this, and there was kind of a line. So, you know, gonna try and beat the beat the line. What's up? I don't got any food. I don't have any food on me. Yeah. No. <laughs> He's just staring at me. <laughs> He's back. Oh, there's a fat spider web right there. Oh, there's a there's a there's a f dragonfly. Look at him. I can't get to you. There's bugs. See? <laughs> I don't have anything. Oh, I just had to start one. I gotta go continue my walk. Drink some water. There you go. Ta-ta. <laughs> Guys, look how good it looks. Without the freaking fog lights, it looks so much better that way. So like, I'm going to drive home and the K-Tuner, the, the freaking phone doesn't want to connect to the K-Tuner. So I had no gauges on the way home. <laughs> But hey, it does not matter. Guys, we got the CDL permit and we got a sideways license. That's all that freaking matters. So now I can legally drive a semi truck with someone in it. That's, that's a big deal, all right? It's a big step in the right direction. Um, and now my career can kind of, you know, kind of step forward here. But now I gotta figure out why the freaking gauges won't connect to the car. The tubing is, I don't even know if it's doing its job. I really. I really can't tell if it's working or not. I'm sure it's doing something, but it's still in one piece, so that that's good. Like I said, I like it a lot better like that. It, it just looks cleaner. Like, yeah, that looks a lot better. I think that's all for this vlog. All right, some DIY. I think it's gonna end it today. So, thank you guys for watching another video. All right, stay tuned. I'm actually getting more subscribers now. Um, 
uh you know I'm, I'm working on the wrap still okay we're getting that designed okay uh step by step i'm not sure when i'm actually gonna get the wrap hopefully soon and the wing should be here any freaking day i'm hoping any any week make sure you guys stay tuned for more videos and i will see y'all in the next video deuces